So this is gonna be a real quick review of the Yes For All heavy bag wall mount. Great, thanks. Uh, from Amazon, I picked it up for about 32 bucks the other day, Prime. So it got to me in one day, actually. Um, like I said, real quick, this works really well, as long as you mount it correctly. If you have studs that are wide enough to accommodate the four screws on the top and bottom, then it works really well. I was able to mount two two by fours via lag screw into the stud that's about mm, this wide. I'm coming, Rosie. Um, this bag is the Everlast Hydro bag, Hydro Strike bag. It's pretty heavy, it's about 100 pounds when full. So it's holding it pretty well. The only complaint I have about it, or actually two complaints, are this. So when I had the bag up here and I was hitting it, it was spinning around like normal. And this pin spins independently to allow the spin of the bag. But at some point this screw stopped, or this bolt I should say, stopped um, holding onto the nut here and the nut stopped spinning. So the bolt unscrewed and fell and the bag fell. Nobody got hurt or anything, but I learned my lesson. I put it back in, I tightened it with a crescent wrench really hard, and then I actually applied a little bit of Gorilla Glue into the thread. And now I'm not worried about that. It's been about 15 minutes. I probably need a cure for at least two hours before I start hitting it again. And this still has the ability to spin. These adjusters aren't really useful once you hang the bag unless your bag is really light. I wouldn't recommend messing with these once you hang the bag because it's not really possible. And they hook into just these normal peg holes like any other adjustable metal device. But the bag's so heavy that even if I were to loosen these all the way and try to move this left and right, it does swing or up and down, I couldn't because this is just too heavy. You want to get it into whatever position you want it in before you mount it. Um, also, if you do swing it left and right, there's nothing here to hook into. There's no bolts or holes on this side or this side. So it's gonna swing loosely until you put it back into its normal position. These will unscrew a little and then you gotta pull or you can unscrew it. It's just, I guess, to make it easier. Also, you have to do them both at the same time. I guess that's for redundancy or just to keep it stronger. It's pretty well made, I have to admit. This is pretty solid. It doesn't move when I hit the bag, you know. Uh, most of the shock is absorbed by the bag, obviously, but, you know, with the 2x4s, which are the major complaints I were seeing on Amazon reviews as people were complaining that, you know, it moves around a little bit. Well, if you mount it into something solid and then mount that into something solid, you know, most people don't have studs that are this close together. Then it's going to work pretty well. Like I said, I used 5-inch uh, lag screws. They're just hex screws. I got them at Home Depot. They're like 39 cents each. You got them in the construction section of hardware. They're pretty easy to find. They're construction screws for mounting wood to wood. And then I just drilled through the, the two by fours, two holes in each, put them in, drilled four holes, put these in, and it was done. Made sure it was level, made sure these were as close as possible. But you don't really have to be exact because obviously you can adjust wherever you screw these in. I think these penetrated into the wall a little, which is fine. It's just a garage, so it's not a big deal. I can always just fill it and paint it. But yeah, I haven't done a full review of the bag yet because I wanna make sure this cures up and I don't wanna have another accident because obviously that would be bad. Also, this thing's really heavy and I don't have a hose near my garage so I had to take it back to fill it and then carry it all the way over here in a stroller. So it was my big 100 pound baby. So it was really hard to mount. Anyway, um, once I got it up, I think this is a great product, 32 bucks with Prime. I think it's a pretty good deal. All right, bye.